And today we're talking about none other than his physique breakdown. So you guys know in the past I've done videos of Roman Reigns, Finn Balor, Triple H, Drew McIntyre, Undertaker, Goldberg, etc. So today we're talking about Randy Orton. And this has been a very highly recommended video. So you guys take a look at Randy, at Randy Orton's physique. You know, back in the day when he was early evolution, right? He was always been and always will be a tall wiry guy but he added some size to his frame when he was younger in his early days because he felt he had to be huge beefy strong then he started realizing how he's able to move around the ring how he's able to use his natural god-given athleticism and quickness to his advantage so at and even his own voice he has talked about how being a muscle guy never really fit his style of wrestling. Those of you who watched Randy Orton in the ring, you know he does not really a power emphasis guy. He's a methodical ring general that likes to pick his spots, you know, whether they're high spots, low spots, um, explosive, you know, RKO spots, etc. He picks them. So in the recent years, he's gone more from you know, power and strength development to more mobility, functional based training, which is what I love to see in older wrestlers. That instead of trying to power on as much size as you can and fill your body with a bunch of crap, you know, you, you try to go more functional, more, more mobile, so you can be around and have longevity. Recently, when he was on a Broken Skull session with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Randy actually talked about how he wants to wrestle, you know, into his mid-40s, you know, 50s, mid-50s, and just be around for a while and be that grizzled veteran that guys can come talk to. And, you're, you know, the first thing that goes in wrestling is, is your body. A lot of guys know that. So by Randy having that ability to stay in shape, Stay progressive, all right. And talk about his workout splits. Uh, he does like that more, more, more mobility, more functional based training. He's done through most of the years. So, an average, it goes upper body, uh, lower body, kind of like an ab circ, uh, day the next day, then upper body, lower body again, five days split roughly around there. Nutrition, he's honed in with that. Uh, he high protein, low carbohydrate type type diet. Um, doesn't eat packaged or processed foods. Eliminates those out of his diet. Uh, just eat try, tries to eat clean and whole foods as possible. Also, one thing I know is about doing my research about this is the Stylist program. And also, his wife very active. So the Stylist program he love does with his wife keeps them active together. Also keeps him motivated because honestly, that guys, if you're not relationship, you don't understand. If you're out of shape and you're sniffing out there is in shape is that's definitely a motivating factor but that that's great to hear from there too but like i said randy orton has one of the top tier physiques ever in the history of wwe and he's able to maintain and just continuously keep that going even in the year 2021 um and again always has had yeah and even having longevity has has been amazing to see um and it ties into just how much of a you know once and generous talent he is